Okay, this is my wig I'm using to do Belle. Hair is approximately 23 inches long. It's bought from this company off eBay. Calls himself. I'll spell it out D A R C I N U T. I buy a lot of wigs from him, and this wig was called Christine. And he also has a website, uh, wildcatwigs.com. I bought mine in colour 30 chestnut brown. Okay, I meant to say earlier the colour is colour 30 light auburn, not chestnut brown. Anyway, the first thing we've got to do is section off a bit of the back of the wig here to make a ponytail later. So you just take some hair, make sure you evenly part it. And the same on the other side and I'll just put a grippy thing there for now to hold that the next thing we've done is taken a section of hair from the front just from there to there and rolled it round the finger pulling it tight uh, I put some grips in it helps to have two pairs of hands to do this that's what it should look like and then you take a section of hair from the side and pull it up over the top and we're just going to put a grip there for now to hold that like so two pairs of hands come in because while mum's holding it there I'm going to put some grips in to secure it okay next we're taking our side sections from either side mum's pulling up to there and I'm going to be incorporating it into this ponytail section here and pulling it really tight on top Okay, we've now secured the ponytail in a rubber band, quite high on the head there. The next thing we have to do is actually fold the whole ponytail in front here. Now I'd like to point out this tutorial on YouTube by someone called Little Moon, that was very helpful. So I'd like to give some credit to her for this because I thought this was a brilliant idea exactly as she did on the video you get your grip and you put it in facing backwards like so making sure you're gripping some of the hair underneath as well okay also inside the ponytail we popped a little um, roller in there which I've seen used on other videos just to help give it a bit more height. And basically you just let the whole ponytail fall over. Fall over, sort of like a, like a uh, waterfall effect. And then I've just pinned it here for now to the wig. I might actually put a few stitches in there. And I pulled some of this hair down here because we had a bit of an issue with some of the hair net showing through. It was a bit of a pain. So we just pulled some hair down each side. And next would be to put some gold decoration around it. There we 
go. This is for making the gold headband to go around my wig. I'm using the same metallic gold ribbon that I used on the dress. Just basically quickly round it round the head to see how much I need and cut it. I've left it a bit longer because of course you have to turn your edges inwards because otherwise they'll fray. So I'll have to do a little turnover just so that end down so it's neat. And then I'm going to bring that round and I'm going to fold it underneath the other one but you'll see later. But before I do any of that or say after I've done turn the edges in I'm going to be putting some crystals onto it and some more of the same crystals that I used on the dress so these are the size SS30 which is about 6mm and I'm just going to decorate my headband first ok just quickly showing the headband all decorated with my crystals and as I said earlier I've left the end free because I'll need to turn that over when I'm attaching it which is pretty much what I'm going to do now just go and turn over the end exactly like I did with this end so it's nice and neat ok I'm just starting to sew my headband onto my wig just got some needle and thread and I'm just threading it through the wig just to secure it a little bit ok this is my finished headband I've just sewn the ends together and then anchored it down and I've placed an extra crystal in place just there so it's the finished thing <laughs> 